honestly don't know why I'm up at this advanced hour of 4.39 in the morning. But, actually, I, I'm up now because... Well, I have a rant. And that's on how litigious our society is. And I'll have descriptions of the songs I'm using, you know, that I have playing in the background here. Of the names of them. But there'll be no game this time because uh, the main focus is on Earthbound. You know. And I don't want to play it because I'm saving that for a special day. I do plan on LPing Earthbound. And I don't want to spoil it, to be honest with you. And unfortunately, there's no decent fan games I can play that would, uh, that I could use with Camp Studio. But anyway, um, we all know how litigious our society is. People will sue for anything and everything. As we all have heard from the latest, uh, incident with a certain person who's been going around having videos pulled under threat of sue. We all know who he is. I shall not name him because he's been named enough. But, uh, the reason I'm doing this one is because the main fact that Earthbound, one of the most underrated and probably one of the greatest RPGs ever, in my personal opinion, is not going to be coming out on the, virtu on, on the Wii Virtual Console. It's not even going to be ported to the DS or anything. Why? Well... Nintendo of America lawyers want to edit it before it comes over. And uh, either Itoi, the creator of the game, or Nintendo Japan, one or the other, they refuse to change it. And the reason why they have to edit it is because there's too many pop culture references in it. Whereas back then, in the SNES days, it really wasn't a problem. But now we've become so litigious now that they have to cover their financial asses to make sure no one wants to sue them. And since there's so many references to pop culture and all that, some of which actually end up, if they change them, would drastically alter, alter the game, they don't want to change them. So, for legal reasons, they will not be releasing it on the virtual console because of that. And it ticks me off that because people will sue over anything and everything is why they won't release them. And it goes down to money. People sue not because, oh, they're making fun of me or they're using my stuff without permission. It's, oh, I want more money. I want money. Case in point, we all know of the incident of the lady who went to McDonald's, bought an extra hot coffee, she asked for it hot, and then placed it between her legs and drove off. She spilt the coffee on her, gave herself, I think, second degree burns or third degree burns. Well, she was bad, burned bad enough, had to go to the hospital. Sued. McDonald's, and won a couple million dollars. And for a good while there, I'm not sure if they're selling it now, I don't really drink coffee, so I don't check, but for a good while there, I know for sure they refused to sell um, coffee. Because they were afraid of getting, you know, someone burned and sued. Um... And the thing is, what ticks me off is the, the jury found in favor of her. When they should have been smart to realize, hey, she asked for the coffee hot. She got what she deserved. She's an idiot. Then how about the uh, criminal? 
who uh, sued the jail he was in because they did not have his brand of barbecue sauce. And won. Got enough money to post bail. So this is actually turning into a bit of a rant against the justice system, too. But, you know, and, and dumb juries. Because also about the one, the, the guy who, the burglar who broke into, um, an old, in a, uh, an old couple's home. Burglarized them. They stood back and said, hey, just take what you want and go. Don't hurt us. So he perused the house. Got in the kitchen, hurt himself on a knife they had left out. Hurt himself bad. He sued. And won. They had to pay for his doctor's bills, and he got off. Even though they had more than enough evidence to show he broke in. You know? So it's partially stupid juries I wish I could smack around. But it's also partially the fact that people will sue for anything. Being and I work at a cookie store, we're not allowed at all to sell the cookies hot. A lot of people ask, can you? Why don't you? Can't. Can't you warm, heat them up for me? Nope. Why? Well, if someone gets a cookie, burn themselves. <sighs> we could be sued. And then, we would have to either close or make sure the cookies were ice cold before even putting them on the tray. Which sucks. Yeah. It just ticks me off. You know, how you could look at someone wrong and be sued. You could say a certain well known socialites. Trademarked phrase. And get sued. And of course we all know what's happening with. YouTube currently. How they're. Pulling videos that have songs that are copyrighted, even though the person is saying this is not their song, this is not their music, just still pulling it because someone's threatening to sue. <sighs> Crap. That's why, you know, it's like when I did that AMV of Star Trek, I thought, hey, this is fun. I might do more. Then I seen this going on and said, yeah, I might wait, you know. AMVs might be protected, but I don't want to take the chance. <sighs> if people would just realize that money isn't the important thing, things might go better in life. But yet, as long as, I don't, I don't, as, long as people will sue for any least little thing, we're going to have problems. As long as someone says, Hey, you looked at me funny. I'm going to sue you for millions of dollars. It's like that song Weird Al Yankovic song called I'm going to sue you. No, I won't play it for fear of copyright, but uh, you all know it. It's where he basically sings about suing for dumb things like uh, eating lots of food and getting fat or microwaving animals and whatnot. If you're fans of Weird Al, you'll know it. But anyway, I think that's all I have to say. Y'all get the point. This is Big Fatty Plus. I'm tired. Sayonara.